John Bingham of Ohio was the James Madison of Reconstruction. He wrote the 14th Amendment, the most important of the three post-Civil War amendments, the amendment at the center of all of our contemporary debates involving liberty and equality. Bingham, remarkably, hasn't gotten his due for much of American history. He was dismissed uh, after the Reconstruction era uh, by Supreme Court justices such as Felix Frankfurter, who thought that he wasn't a clear thinker. His vision was resisted because of its egalitarian power. But in fact, this was an extraordinarily sophisticated constitutional hero who had a very precise sense of what he was trying to achieve in the 14th Amendment and did just that. Bingham's central belief was that the original Constitution could have been read to prohibit slavery even before the Civil War and should have been construed to bind the states as well as the federal government and forbid them from infringing basic rights. But he recognized that the original Constitution didn't clearly do that, so he very carefully chose the words that he did in the 14th Amendment to achieve those two central purposes, to apply the Bill of Rights against the states and also to make clear that the freedmen had all the privileges or immunities of citizenship. It's so important to recognize this great founder who had such a clear vision, who enshrined it in the Constitution. It's time to give John Bingham his due.